Okay, for this video tutorial, we're going to be working with the spot color technique. And how we do that is open up the image of your choice that you'd like to use. For this case, we'll use the flower image. Click open. You're going to press Ctrl J to make a copy, then Ctrl Shift and U to desaturate and take away all the color out of there. Next, what we're going to use is the quick mask tool. And what that's going to do is just help us to actually work out exactly where we want with our flower. Now, there's two ways of normally doing it. What you'd normally do is just paint directly, but to make it a bit quicker, I'm going to click on this tool here. I'm going to select just the petals and the flower, as you can see here. Do a pretty good job of collecting most of it, as it's done there. There's going to be a few areas outside of what we really want, but that's fine. Once that's happened, Control Shift and I will actually inverse the selection. And what that's going to do is when we click on the quick mask, it's actually going to show us the color of just the flower. So when we click on Quick Mask Tool, you can see it's actually put the color in there for us, but there's a couple of spots where it went into it. And what we're going to do there is we're actually going to use our brush to fix that up. So if we zoom in by going Control and Plus, using our hand tool, by using the space bar, the hand tool comes up. You can see we can now look around and say where things need to be fixed. So press B to get to our brush tool. And you can see where black is the foreground color. As you can see in the mask here, wherever it's black, it shows up the color. So we need it to be white. So if you press X or click on here, the two things will actually swap around. So going to white, which is going to be a subtraction. We're just going to paint out the area here that we don't need. Now I'm just doing this quickly. Normally you'll use your stylus and you take a lot more care. But just for this tutorial here and just seeing how it's used I'll do it fairly quickly here so I just press X to swap between the two use the hand to move around you can see down here it's actually put the color back in so I'll make my brush bigger by using the square bracket it's a quick way of doing it and then for those really close bits make my brush smaller so using the left square bracket which is next to the P I can make it bigger or smaller like so. Now you don't have to be too precise for this video but again pressing the X to change between foreground colour and background colour. It's just to show you the technique so you can see how it's done. Okay spacebar and using the left mouse button to move around again. Pressing the X to swap my foreground and background colours. So I can use this to plus and minus to draw and take away. As you can see, that's pretty good. There's this last bit just in here. Okay, and zoom back out. Control zero, and zoom back out. And you can see now you've got the spot color of just the flower with the black and white girl in the background. To add a little bit of emphasis to this as well, if you change the blend mode, you can see it's normal. And now I'm using the down arrow key. I can go through. You can see that it's changing the blend mode there. And you can see how it actually changes each of the different blend modes, gives you a totally different look again. So you can go through, have a look at the blend mode, and see how that changes your photo. Okay, that is pretty much it on using the spot color technique. As you can see, just cycling through, there's the different types of techniques you can use with your blend modes, just to make it interesting, but there's a normal look there for you.